Hello everyone, I'm Kelly Covert and I am so excited to be bringing you another Symphoria Community Spotlight. Today I have Alan He, who is a first year medical student at SUNY Upstate Medical University. And he's gonna share a little bit with us about music and medicine and some of the wonderful collaborations that we have right now with the Golisano Children's Hospital. Alan, how are you today? I'm good, Kelly. I'll do my best. Yeah, <laughs> of see. course. Well, why don't you start with just telling us a little bit about yourself? Um, I think that you have a really interesting background at uh, coming into medical school that people would love to know about. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, I was a music and biochemistry double major at Middlebury College. It's a small liberal arts school up in Vermont, and I love my time there. I think overall that like combination of the sciences and the arts really melded and helped to make me who I am today. Um, and from there, I kind of took a non-traditional route to med school where I worked in uh, some clinics. I then went and joined some startups over on Wall Street and Madison Ave. And eventually I decided you know, music is an awesome thing that sort of like stayed with me throughout the whole process. And maybe I should try something different. And that's how I sort of ended up in medicine. Wonderful. Now, what <laughs> instrument do you play? I, I play quite a few, but not all of them that well. So I dabble <laughs> here and there. Um, I'd say piano is where I really started uh, from classical to jazz to improvisation. And right now I mostly produce music mm -hmm. and do some film scoring. Oh, wonderful. So, <laughs> so you're doing like many, many things. How do you find the time to still um, spend time in your music while you are a medical student? Oh, that's a great question. Um, I think it's really similar to a lot of performers or um, a lot of musicians similar to when they were in high school to college and med school and beyond. It's not really a burden to play music or produce or do anything that we love, right? Instead, it's, it's actually like a release throughout your day. So rather than have your nose buried in a book 24 seven, you get to put it down, take a break and go jam out, um, try something new even. I know with COVID and everything going on, a lot of my classmates have recently picked up the electric guitar mm -hmm. just because it's a quiet thing that you can play in your dorm by yourself. And if you really want to jam with people, you could always plug into an amp and just like go wild. Mm -hmm. I love it. I love it. So as a musician and an up and coming doctor, you know, eventually <laughs> doctor, which is probably amazing to hear that. I, I think that would be so exciting. Um, what, what can you tell us about the healing properties of music? That, I think I can only speak from personal experience. Um, I know almost 100% of us study with our earbuds in nowadays, and we're just listening to music, not just during, say, while we're reading a book, but it's almost become like a backing or a soundtrack to our life. Like, it just imagine that scene when Darth Vader walks in, not saying we're villains, but when, when Darth Vader walks in and you hear the, the march behind, right? Mm -hmm. That's kind of like how we want to go through the world. I know sometimes I put on like the Guardians of the Galaxy soundtrack as I just wander the streets, you know, on my way to school. And that whole feeling just makes you feel like you're the protagonist in the film of whatever you want. And I think music or more specifically the healing properties kind of touch you throughout the day. It's not just like when you're sick, but it lifts you up when you're not feeling ideal. It makes the happy moments ha brighter and it makes uh, the sad moments just a little bit happier. Mm -hmm. Sparks of joy. Oh, I love it. I love it. And <laughs> I think, I think one of the special um, powers of music is the power to connect the power to make us feel like we're a part of something. And that's really what we're aiming to do um, in our collaboration with the Golisano Children's Hospital, where we will be streaming concerts into patient rooms. So um, kids who are there as patients and their families are able to enjoy this 
bit of respite, this little piece um, um, away from the reality that might be difficult to really um, come together and feel connected to everyone else who's watching. That's the amazing thing about live stream, right? Like everybody's watching all at the same time. Um, how excited are you that this collaboration is happening? I think it's absolutely brilliant. Um, Galasano is doing great work just like Sinfor is for our community. And to be able to bring music into the hospital setting especially for kids and give them that exposure. We talked about the healing power of music. This is sort of even beyond it because it goes beyond just in that moment. And it's sort of like a spark that could potentially stay with kids for, for life, you know? Mm -hmm. And it's something that can really inspire them to go and pick up maybe a violin or go and get a saxophone and just really jam out and like, get together with their friends. I think overall, it's it's definitely a positive for, for not just the kids and the patients, but for everyone involved in the program. Mm -hmm, 100%. So going forward, um, how do you see music playing a role in your life as a doctor? <laughs> well, I don't think I'm going to be walking into patients' rooms just like jamming out some Hendrix chords <laughs> but <laughs> you never know <laughs> it, it, it might be the Jimi Hendrix clinic coming coming soon um but I think overall it'll help keep me grounded and more mm -hmm. level um medicine is not an easy path necessarily to go down um but we all need our own releases throughout life. So I picked up rock climbing recently just as a way to like physically deal with everything. Um, music has always been there as like my mental reprieve throughout a hard day or after an exam. There's nothing better than sitting down and just improvising, just playing something on the piano, whether you're directly or indirectly copying Beethoven at that point, you're, you feel like you're doing something and creating something awesome. Yeah, 100%. And I would, I would just say as an encouragement to everyone who's watching, um, no matter how young or old you are, it's never too late to learn how to play an instrument and to, you know, pick up a ukulele or take some piano lessons and really, um, become a musician. And, and really, if you play music, you are a musician. And we believe that at Symphoria. And um, Alan, I'm so thankful that you were able to come here and share this uplifting message, um, particularly about the Galasano Children's Hospital and just like what a wonderful role music can play in our lives um, if we allow it, right? Absolutely. Thank you so much for having me, Kelly. Thank I think you. you guys are doing great things. Thank you so much. And thank you to all of you who are watching. We will see you at a concert very soon.